Hello from Brazil or Hello from England. Is it? 你好，从巴西。I have to visit a cardiologist. 哎，你觉得中国怎么样？有意思。Hello everyone. 大家好。Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ting. Today we are going to talk about some sayings in English that native Chinese speakers never say. These words or phrases may not necessarily be incorrect, but you probably won't hear Chinese native speakers using them. Let's get started. First one: "Hello from Brazil" or "Hello from England." Is it? 你好，从巴西。The answer is no. Because this is only a translation. If you really want to mention you're from Brazil, you may say, 你好，我来自巴西。Or, 你好，来自巴西的问候。Hello, greetings from Brazil. Two, sir, man, is that 先生，女士。These words are not wrong, and I understand you want to be very, very polite. But if you wish to leave a comment for your teacher, there is a better form of address, which more familiar to native speakers. It's a 老师，张老师，李老师。The funny thing is, we do address our teacher friends, teacher something. Three. It's a beautiful place. 这是个美丽的地方。Again, the sentence is not wrong. However, native speakers would not describe a place as a 美丽 We would describe it in more detail. I would say, 这是一个很古典的地方 And 这是一个很现代的地方 Or 这是一个风景如画的地方。风景如画 ，the view is beautiful, like the tradition Chinese ink painting. If you really want to use beautiful, you may choose 漂亮。这个地方很漂亮，漂亮的家。They are fine for native speakers. Four. I have to visit a cardiologist. Here are two points. Let's talk about them one by one. First, visit. 访问、拜访、看望 ，which to choose? No, none of them, because they are too formal. We use 看 Secondly, cardiologist. 心脑科医生 So is that? 我要看。心脑科医生 ？No, we say 我要看医生。我要看医生。Maybe it's because of Chinese medical system. No matter what disease you have, you need to go to a hospital first and register it in different department. So, in our way of thinking, we don't make the distinction between pediatrician or cardiologist. We just a、uh, We have to visit a doctor. Four. Bless you. I have been asked by many students how to say "bless you" when I sneezed in classes, and I told them some phrases such as "chang ming bai sui" because they really looked worried. But actually, it's totally fine if you don't say anything. You just wait until people back. Seven. Interesting, 有意思。哎，你觉得中国怎么样？有意思。What do you think about China? Interesting. Actually, you didn't answer the question. Let me show you an example. 你觉得中国怎么样？啊，中国很大，中国很好玩，有很多吃的。What do you think about China? China is big, very fun. There's a lot of food. Native speakers would use 有意思 as an adjective instead of an opinion. For example, 哎，新来的小张很有意思啊 
The new colleague Xiao Zhang is an interesting person. Or, 上次的活动很有意思，我还想参加。The last event was interesting. I wish to have it again. There you have it. Seven common words and phrases native Chinese speakers seldom say. Were any of them surprising to you? Maybe there are some other words and phrases you learned of. If yes, please share it in the description below so we can all learn together. Was this video useful for you? Did you like it? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for further real-life Chinese lessons. Thanks for watching. Bye.